welcome to part two, day three of our Death Valley trip. Alana and I have started off now today. Um, not sure exactly what we're going to get into. We actually woke up to a little bit of rain, uh, at least in Pahrump where we're okay. staying. Uh, I think Death Valley got some as well, but it's pretty well clear. And as we drive closer to the valley, the sky is amazing. And uh, we slept in just a little bit this morning because we needed to get caught up on uh, sleep. And I had some problems with uh, my rental Z7 II. I'll talk about that a little bit, but I had to do a little bit of computer work, which kept me up later than I'd liked. Today, I believe we are heading over to, and I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, but Ballarat? Yes. Ghost Town? It's about two and a half hours from our hotel. We're going to go right through the heart of Death Valley. So, I don't think we're going to get there in two and a half hours because I'm having a hard time not stopping every five feet as, this, oh. as the clouds are breaking up here. Yes. Um, you just can't quite see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun exploring day. And uh, let's get it going right now. Hi. You gonna come up to me? Hi there. Hi there. How are you doing, baby? Hi. Hi. Well, I just had an amazing experience here, uh, which I might have already shown you a little bit of. You might have just heard a car, but look, uh, I got out to snap some photos with this uh, nice little setting. I wish the power pole wasn't right there, but I got out here to take this, uh, do some video here or do some photos. And one of the issues I had with my camera that I'm so very thankful that I that I corrected was um, uh, my F to Z adapter didn't work on the Nikon Z7-2. I had to do a firmware update. So all day yesterday, anything with my long lens, I was left to my Z6. But uh, I got a bunch of photos. I'll uh, I'll call through them and share those with you now. But um, honestly. If I screwed up every one of them, this was just awesome for an Ohioan just to have some wild horses that walked right up. I fed one an apple. Uh, Lana had a few apples for today and uh, gladly sacrifice. This is this has just been awesome. Just what uh, what a way to start the day. All right, well, a little bit of a 
I don't know, plan B or a change of plans anyway. Alana and I decided to explore explore the 20 Mule Canyon Road area and then we got out and walked around a little bit. Was just looking to, I don't know, look for mud cracks and stuff like that. Um, one of the things that sort of dawned on us a little late <laughs> is that um, the where we were headed, the ghost town, uh, is yeah. also over by Darwin Falls, which yes. we wanted to check. We've been watching that for this week and we have to get down to Furnace Creek, right? Yeah. So we need to go down by Furnace Creek to check out if the road is open because they had some... They were predicted to get one to three inches of snow. Right, one to three inches of snow, and that means that the road there may require snow chains, uh, which because we're in a rental, we don't have. So we need to check that out before we waste too much time. And honestly, uh, ever since the horses, it totally changed the pace <laughs> of our day. We're just kind of like, well, let's just be typical traveler explorers. So I would love to make great photos but as always alana and i are more worried about the experience and just tinkering around and stopping pulling over and walking up a, a wash is exactly the type of activity that we really love to do so um i think we're going to continue doing more of that we might end up hitting some other pins we've been scouting death valley for a long time we've had friends share some locations with us um one of the things in here is i think this area we're, we're walking right now would normally be great for mud cracks but the little bit of rain and everything has sort of reset it all so it's all just smooth uh so i'm having to look for some different textures because the mud cracks are very young yes um they still have some moisture in them they're real small and they're they just haven't curled yet yeah they're just starting to get uh, kind of fancy just about everywhere we've been yes uh, that doesn't mean they're not here we just probably haven't looked in all the right places yet and that's fine we've got plenty of time so anyway we're going to get on down the road here and just sort of explore because we're not in the park too too awful far right now uh, and as you can see the sun's up pretty high so even if we get photos they're not going to be you know they're not going to be that portfolio worthy and that's okay again you know we're just trying to capture the moment when we were there as best we can when okay. we're there. And, uh, you know, you get what you get. So uh, back at it. Enough said, right? Yep, that's it. All right, it. here we go. Well, there you go, Darwin Falls. Yeah. Uh, we're still pretty close to the falls, so we have the mile hike back down. It's 2.2 miles, and I absolutely, thoroughly yes. enjoyed it. Thus, the immense amount of B-roll that you probably just saw. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll share the photos that I took at the falls uh, oh. here as soon as I shut up, but uh, a very un-Death un, un Valley feeling yes. thing to do. And Very. I think that's one of the things that makes it so special to yes. have the water. It's a spring fed, so it runs all the time. Yep. And just to have the green kind of surrounded by this really rough rock 
just what a really cool area. So yes. we thoroughly enjoyed this. Again, 2.2 miles both ways. There is a couple rock scrambles, so if you're good on your feet, you should be just fine. Yeah. Uh, plenty of good footing. Yeah. Water crossings, but unless uh, there's been some rain and a lot of rushing, you can skip across it really easy. We yeah. didn't get anything other than the soles of our shoes, shoes um, damp. Yeah. Uh, I, I recommend yep. it highly if you're making a visit out here. It's worth the drive to the other Definitely. side. I think now uh, we're going to try, because we're so close to that ghost town, Yes. to go do that, which is yes. also kind of an un... Well, maybe no. not. No. It's not a typical thing to do no. when a photographer-like person... It's not the highlights. It's not, it's not on the highlights <laughs> reel, but we're going to go add it to our highlights anyway. reel. Here we go. Well, the ghost town was honestly pretty much a complete bust. Uh, it's not much of a ghost town. It's just some abandoned stuff. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess maybe it's a ghost town. I don't know. The, the reason I wanted to go there was I'd seen some really cool images. And honestly, whoever took them made it look a lot neater. So kudos to you than really what I felt like <laughs> it was worth. That being said, on our way out and along the road, there was a little wash or, or uh, that we kind of crossed and went through and there were some really cool mud cracks. So I did get, uh, I took an image there. I don't know how it's going to turn out because the light was changing while I was taking it. Um, but the mud cracks were awesome, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. Then we left there and went back kind of exactly the way we came, came up to Father Crowley Point. Yes. Uh, we thought this might be a sun. Uh, we thought this might be a sunset location, but it's a cool location. I just don't feel like sticking around for sunset. So now we are headed back to what's the San Panamint Dry Lake. Panamint Dry Lake, which we crossed a couple of times today. Yes. Um, and basically, we're heading back to the hotel now. So, oof, light is horrible yes, it's there. Yes, very horrible. Yeah, light we're is. There you again. go. There you go. Yeah. Um, uh, so anyway, we're headed back to that little area. It's really, there's a whole bunch of sand down in there. Yeah. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe I can find something there. If not, I might have just gotten a head start back to the hotel. So uh, <laughs> well, again, we'll this see. light's a little tricky. So I'm just going to shut up and focus on driving because this yes, is please. super twisty. So bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> At least for now. Okay. Okay. I can't hit stop. I got you. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we made it. Yay! Kind of. I mean, you can see it's just uh, it's just blue, blue, it's blue. New. So uh, very nice light, but all of the clouds as we got closer and closer to sunset just sort of disappeared. So uh, I did find in this wash. I thought it was all going to be sandy, but it's actually it's kind of actually cracky. it's dirt, and there's little little mini mini cracks. I think if it was drier, maybe not this season or just after rain like we yeah. had. I bet this would be a really neat area. Uh, with a lot of cracks. Yes. I did take some images, so I will share those soon. And then, uh, what? This has kind of been a big day. Like yes. I, I feel like... Quite a few places. I feel like quite a few places, quite a bit of talking, quite a few images. So I hope this isn't wrong, but I'm wrapping this day up just one single day on this one. I feel like there's enough that uh, you're tired of talking to me. So you're <laughs> listening to I'm me talk. i listening. Yeah, you're tired. I hope She's... you're not talking to the screen. Yeah. That'd be a little awkward. That'd be weird. Yeah. Well, you can tell I'm getting a little tired. So we're going to make our <laughs> two hour trip back to the hotel. And uh, I will see you hopefully in the next video for sunrise. Hang out. Check out the images uh, of not only here, but any others that I didn't share uh, yet from today. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.
is that? It's oh. like my front screen's going out. Because it's recording fine off the back. Yeah, but the front looks funny.